everybody welcome back to my channel my name is moon dancer how y'all doing in this video I am going to talk about my spirit animal guides in the last video I discussed being Therian and my Therian type Therio type and so I told you at the end of that one that I would get into my animal guides which ta-da that's this video right here <laughs> so to start off with I am going to talk about totem power animals the, your totem animal is an animal that you tend to be drawn to um, pictures, uh, jewelry, uh, statues, clothes, fuzzy PJs, like, you, you just gotta have them, like, everywhere. They're everywhere you are, everywhere you go, and, like, literally, you can spot them from, like, a mile away. <laughs> I swear you can. Power animal is your guide that is there with you for life and it's kind of like your inner self uh, you'll notice a lot of similarities between you and your power animal and it's the it's basically there to help your soul grow and that's the big purpose of it. You know, I mean, I mean, it's there for, it's there with you for life. So, and it's basically your inner self. Makes sense, right? <laughs> My totem power animal is the owl. Woo! <laughs> and the owl represents witchcraft, nighttime, moon magic, intuition, that's a big one. Um, it's referred to as the night eagle, which, I mean, you know, that's kind of explanatory right there, so. I have known that I have a love for owls when I was really little course I didn't mean I didn't know about animal guides then so at the time didn't know that's what it was but I remember my first meeting with with an owl I was just a little girl somewhere anywhere between like two and four years old so I mean like a little girl <laughs> I was outside at nighttime, just stargazing, staring up at the night sky. I've always had a love for the night. And in our yard, you know, we had several trees, or a few. But I had my favorite. Well, there was this whoo, whoo noise coming from the tree. And I was like, what is that? So, you know, a little curious, fearful child went over there to see, you know, what it was. And I almost didn't spot them because they're good at hiding. I mean, good at hiding and very silent when they fly. That's how they catch their prey, so... But I remember when I seen this owl, I got this sense of safeness, protectiveness, and calmness. Like, like I felt okay. And I felt like me and the owl had been friends for a long time. But then, you know, ever since then, like, owls have just been in my life. And... I do have a lot of similarities to the owl. Most of my magic is done at night 
and I'm very connected to the moon and do a lot of moon magic. Hence the name Moon Dancer. <laughs> and I got a lot of owl stuff. Like <laughs> it's definitely my my totem animal too because pictures I've got PJs, I've got necklaces and earrings and statues or little figurines, whatever you want to call them. They're just everywhere. <laughs> so, that is my totem power animal. Now, for animal spirit guides, there are four types that I have come across anyway if there's any more if I'm missing one or forget one feel free to leave, leave a comment down below and let me know there are life animal guides there are journey animal guides messenger animal guides and your shadow animal guide life animal guide is almost like your power animal or pretty similar to it uh it's with you for life and it's there to help you grow and grow grow spiritually and you know become yourself become who you're supposed to be um and they can also call upon other guides to help. Uh, I believe you can have more than one because my life animal guides are coyotes, foxes, huskies, the canine family in general, like, I have a tremendous connection with dogs and especially those dogs that are generally feared, like pit bulls. Um, let's see. Huskies, definitely. I'm... I don't really think Huskies are feared, but Huskies is definitely part of the wolf family. Therian, stereotype. So, I mean, you guys can kind of see where that falls into place. <laughs> Coyotes are known to be tricksters. Uh... Sometimes the message that they're trying to get across to you isn't quite clear. Like, they do it in a tricky way, I guess you could say. So, you gotta really pay attention to what they're trying to tell you if they are trying to tell you something. So, yeah. Foxes are pretty similar to that too. Uh, they're also playful and their messages can be hard to read if you're not listening close enough. So yeah, Huskies, uh, they have a lot of loyalty, friendship, uh, very family orientated I think that's the word and of course dogs you know very similar you know loyal uh, friendship very family orientated and playful especially the really 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 honorary ones <laughs> so yeah, like coyotes, foxes, huskies, canines, dogs. A uh, huge part of my life. I have 
had several people tell me, you know, like when I meet someone's dog for the first time, you know, they just come up to me, you know, a tail's a wagon, like, oh, pet me, pet me, pet me. And their owner will be like, have this look on their face like, wow, what just happened? And they'll tell me, you know, wow, like, how'd you do that? They don't warm up to strangers that quick. Usually they spend, you know, five, ten minutes barking at you when they have just first met you. And after that, it takes a while for them to warm up to somebody. But I've apparently I don't have that problem. So that is the life animal guides. The next one that I'm going to get into is, I believe, journey animal guides. So we're going to get into that. The journey animal guide, well, it's just that. They help you get on the right path. And if you start to get off that path, they let you know. And they do what they can to get you back on it. These guides are not with you for life. They leave once your journey is over and you're moving on to the next. My journey guide so far, I have just had the bat. It seems like when I am starting another journey, it seems like the bat is the one that always comes back. So, okay, that works too. <laughs> the bat has many symbolisms. Um, symbolizes fear, illusion, uh, of course night, because it's night bird, <laughs> and seems like all my animals, like, are all surrounded by night, which is totally no surprise whatsoever, because I am not a day person whatsoever. When people are waking up for the morning, I'm going to bed. <laughs> so, yeah, literally night person, 100%. Um, <laughs> the bat is also symbolizes uh, transformation. So, if you're going through changes or <clears throat> or your life is getting ready to make a big change things like that that could be a reason that the bat would be would be present and you know trying to get a message to you that kind of thing on that note the messenger animal guide <laughs> well they are just that they are they are present in your life when they are delivering messages and they leave once you understand the message I've had a couple of different ones in my life so far I have had the raven and I have had the serpent course the raven kind of another night bird go figure um resembles illusion and rebirth renewal uh magic a few different things the the serpent also resemble or not resembles symbolizes death and rebirth because they shed their skin but grow back 
a new one. Yeah. Almost kind of like the Phoenix, but we're not talking about mythical creatures in this one. You just have to wait for the next video or so on. <laughs> I will cover that though. The last animal or the last guide is the shadow animal guide. And it is your fear, uh, what scares you, it symbolizes your shadow self. Um, I'm sure you've seen my 30 days of shadow work. If you have not, you gotta check that out. But it also resembles creativity and Oh, sorry, your shadow animal guide doesn't resemble creativity. My animal does, which, sorry about that, is the spider. And it fits all too perfectly because deep down inside, I am terrified of spiders and the shadow guide that's exactly what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to scare you, but for a good reason. Like, there's a lesson that you need to learn, or there's a lesson you haven't learned, or there's one that you keep repeating. Now the spider, it symbolizes my shadow self for one and creativity and venom and energy like it's good for fertility spells and whatnot if you just need a guide to call upon for like if you're doing a fertility spell the spider's really good for that and uh you know despite the fact that i I'm scared of spiders I still do everything I can to save them and I think they're cute as shit like how is this even possible well when you're connected to them on a spiritual level you don't want them you don't want to see them hurt or you don't want to see any harm come to them but at the same time you do not want them on you <laughs> so yes it is possible to have a love I don't want to say hate but a, like a love I'm scared of you relationship <laughs> so yeah that is pretty possible but anyways that is the four different type of animal guides that I have come across and trust me, I have done a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of research. <laughs> like, my brain is full. <laughs> like, there's probably, like, so much information that I have not mentioned, have not put in this video. But that's okay, because if you get, or get, <laughs> if you go to the Hatchling Clan, which that link will be below, along with my profile link, I have this video on the same wiki post as the Therian video. So, on and included in this wiki is tons of more information about the totem power animal and all the animal guides that I have just mentioned. So if you guys want to check that out, which you should, go to the Hatchling Clan and click on my profile. It, it'll be there. While you're at it, please join us. You know, make your own pro, pro blah, 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 make your own profile and you know explore because the we have so much information, so much knowledge to learn, and some awesome freaking people on there. Uh, it's a great community. You guys should check us out for real. And check out Unikevin, which is 
the sister of the Hatchling Clan, also ran by Zura Dragonfeather. If you did not know her, <laughs> everybody knows her, of course. But um, great communities, and I also include the pagans and witches link below. You guys can check out them. Great community, guys. We're all witchy. <laughs> Anyways, that was my video about my animal guides. Um, I hope you guys learned a little something and was able to keep up with my blah, 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 constant jattering, gibbering, whatever you want to call it. And I hope to see you guys back. I'm going to be making more animal magic videos because... What's not to love about animals and magic? Best of both worlds. <laughs> so yeah, please come back and join me. And check us out. in the Hatchling Clan and all those that I mentioned. And I hope you guys have a blessed day. Or night. Whatever it is for you. Don't forget to dance under the moon. Superstitions, black cats and voodoo dolls I've got a premonition That girl's gonna make me fall